Number four then, from the 2017 Advanced Higher Maths, up to five marks this time. Arithmetic sequence, it says here to begin with, just for two marks. It gives you the fifth term, negative six, and the twelfth term, negative 34. And it says, determine the values of the first term and the common difference, just for two marks. No, it doesn't give the formula for an arithmetic sequence at the front. So, what we've got is this. U5 would be made up from the first term plus one less, that's four lots of the common difference. And that comes to negative six. U12 is made from the first term plus 11 steps of the common difference, and that comes to negative 34. Call that one, or call that two. So to find A and D then, we'll just subtract them. Doesn't really matter which way. I'll just do one minus two. Because either way, one will be positive, one will be negative. So one take away two, that means I've got negative seven D equals, but at least this one turns out positive. That'll be 28, which means D is negative four. You can see it's going down anyway. So D is negative four. Put it back into whichever one you like. Put it back into one. A plus four lots of D, so A minus 16 is negative six. So the A is going to be, take that across, 10. There we are. You got one mark for forming the simultaneous equations and one mark for then solving it to get A and D. Part B then. Obtain algebraically the value of n for which s of n equals negative 1, 4, 4. Because algebraically means not by trial and error, just by counting it up until you eventually get there. Now, s of n, there's a formula for that, isn't there? s of n, I wonder what it is. There, it's at the front. Ridiculous. So you just write that down. And in fact, in writing that down, you're going to get a mark. Well, in writing it down and putting these two numbers into it. So s of n was, as you're meant to know, n up in 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 lots of d. It's really the average of the first one n times the average of the first and last terms, and that should come to negative 1, 4, 4. Putting in the numbers, don't know what n is, but a is 10, so that's a 20, plus n minus 1, lots of. d is negative 4, but I think I'll just pop that to the front, whoops, minus 4, lots of that, equals negative 1, 4, 4. Doing that gets the first mark. Now I've just got to sort that out, because so obviously there's going to be a quadratic here. I was going to take the two across, but that's going to divide into these numbers. So what have I got here then, if I, if I tidy it up? I've got n times, I'll just do this bit inside the bracket first of all, because that would be 20 plus 4, which is 24. Dividing it by the 2 makes that a 12. That would be minus 4, so that drops to minus 2n, equals negative 1, 4, 4. Now I'll just move all the terms about. I've got 2n squared, but I'm going to write it on this side. I would have 12n, so that'll be minus 12n. That stays there. Minus 144 equals 0. Oh, I've got 2s in it again. I'll just take them out. You get a mark for getting as far as that. n squared minus 6n minus 72 equals 0. Come on, I don't see anything any more like you used to see in the higher marking scheme about don't penalise for dividing by 2. No idea where that comes from. If AB equals 0 and A is not equal to 0, that means if and only if, just B equals 0. Logic. Anyway, factorise it. Must be N, N, Factors of 72 that differ by 6, because that's 6 twelves. Negative must be the larger one, so that gives me two answers. n is negative 6, n is 12. That means that n must equal 12, simply because n is greater than 0. There's the last mark.